Hello, good afternoon, dear students. Welcome back to the class. Good, good afternoon, ma'am. I'm Rashmi Ma. So kindly unmute when you are in the entry. You can uh, leave your this one ID number, okay, in the chat box itself, or you can send through by WhatsApp message. So that I will come to know regarding your presentation, whether you are there or not. Huh? Because when you okay. used to call, by the time okay, ma'am. Question gets out. It will be a problem for you all. So, or in the chat box, you can have your ID number, so I can see very easily. Right? Okay, ma. Thank you. So, in the previous class, we have come across uh, regarding the calculation of uh, HCF as well as the LCM. Have you people followed what I said uh, regarding yesterday? That is uh, HCF and LCM calculation. Have you people followed? Yes. Okay. Let us will go. Uh, to the next type of questions these are all the sentence problems it is not a direct questions these are all given in the form of sentence with this sentence you need to calculate uh, the values of both hcf as well as the lcm and see here this is a question which is uh, having a relationship between the lcm as well as hcf with their two numbers there is an equation that the product of two numbers let us will assume the product of two numbers b as a and b is always equals to the product of their hcf and lcm this equation will hold good when hcf into lcm when you are going to multiply this will always be equals to the numbers what we have been taken here for the calculation we are going to assume a is also an uh, unknown number b is also an unknown number So in the question, if we are going to ask, see here, we can see very easily that the LCM and HCF of two numbers are 96 and 16 respectively. The first number it is LCM and the second number it is HCF. LCM value given here is 96, HCF value is 16. One of the number they are going to say. One of the number means you can able to assume any one number. Either it may be considered as A or you can go for considering it as B. It is left to you only. ನೀವು ಆ ನಂಬರ್ನ ಎ ಅಂತಾದ್ರೂ ಅಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅಥವಾ ಬಿ ಅಂತಾದ್ರೂ ಅಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬಹುದು ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಫೈನ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಸೂಮ್ ಎ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಬಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಗಿವನ್ ದಟ್ ಎಲ್ಸಿಎಂ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಚ್ಎಫ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಸೂಮ್ ಐದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಆಸ್ ಬಿ ನೀವು ಎ ಅಂತ ಅಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರೆ ಬಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂನ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಆಸ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಸ್ ಬಿ ಮೀನ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಎ ನೌ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಫೈನ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಅಂತಾನೆ ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ನಂಬರ್ ಅನ್ನ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಂತಾನೆ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಎ ಇನ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಹೆಚ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಎಲ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಎಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎ ಇನ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಚ್ ಸಿ ಎಂ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಎಫ್ L, HCF and LCM is always equals to the product of the two numbers. Now we are going to assume the value of B here. So when we are going to write B means always when we are going to shift the values. If it is plus. When it is changing the position, this is left hand side. This will be called as right hand side. From left hand side to the right hand side plus values. If you are going to change the right hand side to the right. left uh, sorry left hand side to the right hand side it will become uh, what minus in the same manner from the left from the right hand side to the left hand side the values plus values will, will become minus and minus value will, will become plus but in case of multiplication and division it is not in that case multiplication sign are there the values are in the form of multiplication then it will go to the division it will not change the values plus and minus will not change plus will always be plus to the what right hand side that to the denominator see here here it will be the multiplication a into b equals h into l if you are going to calculate the value of b h into l the value of a will go to the denominator place in the same manner if it is in the form of division it will go to multiplication so this is how we have to substitute the values now b means the another number that is the value what we are going to calculate it is equals to h into l divided by a so b equals the value of hcf it is uh, uh, that is 16 here and the lcm value is 96 because first here we have written lcm and the next will be the hcf value 
then divided by the value of r number that the number what we have assumed it as a that is 48 we have written in the form of division place so 16 into 96 divided by 48 the value the answer what we are going to get that is 32 therefore the other number is 32 this is how we have to calculate the values yeah in the question they may ask for all four values these are the two numbers a is also unknown b is also unknown hcf and lcm among these numbers any three values will be given in the question one number has to be find out in the same manner they may ask for the calculate hcf they may ask for the calculate the lcm value right so in this manner we should use this equation and formula for the calculation and see the second question here they have given if 13 is the hcf of two numbers very clearly they have given hcf value is 13 whose the product those two numbers product means a into b it is so very they have not specified what is the value of a and b very clearly they have given multiplied also it is the product of the two numbers it is 1690 find their lcm value so we know that when we are going to write this uh, equation first we should if you are going to calculate hcf and lcm means write hcf into lcm on the left side then a into b at the right side if you are going to calculate any one unknown vari uh, variable that is a or b means write a into b in the left side then write the hcf into lcm at the right side here we are going to calculate a hcf value so a into b the product of two numbers they have given this clearly no need to multiply also very specifically they have given the product of 2 that is 100 the value of lcm is 20 sorry uh, the product of two numbers are 1690 hcf value is 13 we need to find out the lcm value then we have to apply the uh, formula that is h into l here it is so when we are going to find out which unknown number means lcm is the unknown number at that time hcf will comes to the division place so hcf into lcm equals a into b therefore L that is LCM is equals to A into B divided by H or HCF. Therefore, L equals A into B already given that is 1690 divided by HCF value is 13. When you divide these 1690 divided by 13, we'll get the value that is 130. That will be called as the LCM value. So this is how to calculate the value of HCF or LCM or the unknown numbers. We should see the question. what to calculate first we should understand what to calculate very clearly then we can go for substituting the values in the formula and see the third question here they have given that is if 20 is the lcm of two numbers very clearly they have given the lcm value is 20 whose the product again here also they have not mentioned what is the value of a and what is the value of b uh, total together they have given multiplied a into b value given that is 100 find the hcf So again, we can write uh, h into l equals a into b the equation because what unknown we are going to calculate that always uh, b at the left side. The known values always we should write at the right side. Therefore, h c f equals a into this is nothing but h into l equals a into b. So l we know so we should bring back to the division place the a into b divided by l c f. So h c f equals so hundred divided by twenty. so the value is 5 therefore the value of hcf is what 5 is and the next question they have given here have you people followed by using this equation artha gide ma nimge artha aagta ide adu yes ma'am yes ma'am okay yes ma'am no problem here because already it is known to you people in the previous classes and all let us will see the fourth question here find the greatest integer nimge question alli if specifically they are mentioning largest integer greatest integer so at that time you should analyze that it is a problem relating to hcf if the question itself they are mentioning find the least integer find the lowest find the smallest integer ee tara terms na use madidare anta andre if such kind of terms are being used in the question so at that time you should assume that is the question relating to the lcm greatest largest anta kelira ondha kade ella hcf na calculate madbeku least smallest ee tara kelo anta kade ella lcm na calculate madbeku terms na thumba specific agi kottirtane the terms you should analyze what to calculate here they have given find the greatest integer anta kotta ni lcm madbaru because highest common factors na kelta irontadu ee no methods here specifically mentioned whichever you feel comfortable you can able to apply here the uh, method either you can go by division method or you can go by factorization method here the question we calculated here that is find the greatest integer which divides 
42 and 357. So now the largest value is 357, for smallest value is 42. Now 357 should be divided by 42. Now in 42 table we should keep on dividing the numbers. So 42 eights are will be 336. If we go for ninth time, it will be more than 357. So we should uh, uh, be with uh, eight multiple. That is 42 and 38 is 336. Then we are going to get the remainder 21. E twenty one na previous yon number in the now divide madir kulo divider na adin na consider madir matan sari calculation madir kulo na we already the HCF na division method al madir kulo adi method na follow aga on kadili so twenty one two za so here it is sorry here twenty one two za it is forty two so we are getting the remainder that is zero so this is how we need to calculate the value of HCF. And what is the last number that when we divide with that number we got the remainder is zero. Then that number is being considered as the HCF value. Therefore, you should write in conclusion whether it is a two marks or six marks. Your marks are not cutting down. Your answer is important. Our new procedure follow mad on that do methods and apply mad on that do. Ah, okay. But in the end conclusion, very clear that will becomes important. So in the 2019 alone. वन दो हेच सी एफ प्रॉब्लम को एल सी एम प्रॉब्लम एर सिक्स मार्क्स कैलबिटे सो ईजी टू क्या सो मेजारीटी आफ द टाइम वि यूज टू सी द क्यालुलेन अंडर टू मार्क्स को बट लास्ट टाइम ऐन निम्हे सिक्स मार्क्स कं क्वेश्चन थ्री थ्री मार्क्स क्यालुलेन सो यू डोट बॉदर फॉर द मार्क्स बट यू हव् टू फॉलो द मेथड्स नहीं मेथड्स कल्कोड़े इंपारटेंटली मार्क्स ये बी सी एलू को सो यू पीपल शुड बी रेडी टू आंसर इट So this is how we are have we are going to calculate the value of greatest integer. We will be able to get the conclusion only the greatest integer which divides both 40. The end question only for today. Today I will repeat my formula. You can repeat it again. Whatever they have given in the question. So that is 42 and 357 is 21. Like that you should write. And see the seventh question, fifth question here it is find the least integer. Divisible by 18 and 24. Least and that are the end held in the name. Least integer and the yaw integer na calculate matira. LCM. So least, smallest. These are the only the terms na use matira the end. So if such kind of terms are being used in the question, so you should go for uh, directly to the LCM. Which method you are following? Feel comfortable. That method you can able to apply. Here we have used uh, LCM under division method again. So 18 and 24 together, we have started dividing both the numbers in case of uh, division method. You, you can do it by factorization also. But here we have used it for division method. So two nines are 18, then two twelves are 24. In the second step, we got again we have to divide this nine and twelve. But we have we have divided only this twelve with uh, two now, but because the nine is not divisible by two, so we are going to retain as it is. The nine will be retained in the third step. Then two six are twelve. Again, we are seeing these two numbers where we can able to easily divide both the numbers with three. So three three is a nine. Three two is a six. And three and two are the prime factors. It cannot be divided by other numbers. So it has to be divided with the same. So three one is a retained two because it will not be divided by three. So again two one is a. Then we have to consider all the what the factors where we have used two. Uh, divide the where we have used for the calculation of LCM of 18 and 24. Then 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 2 into 1. Here we have used 2. Here we we'll, when we we'll see these numbers, 2 is multiplied for 3 times. 3 is for 2 times. So we can we have written here instead of writing 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 2 directly 2 3 times. First only we have written here. No problem for that. So three into three into one. The product of all these numbers is nothing but seventy-two. Now we can have to write the answer. That is the conclusion. The least number divisible by eighteen and twenty-four is seventy-two. And the variable is seventy-two. How you got that? Also, you have to show the factors for that. So this is how we have to cal we calculated the LCM value. And the next question they are going to ask: Find the least integer when divided by 18, 24, 56 leaves a remainder two in each case. These are questions. In such kind of uh, if such kind of questions are being asked in the examination, leaves a remainder. So you should keep in your mind that what number they have given to remainder number. That number to has to be added at the last. See here, we got LCM value here. Find out four. 
plus 2 we have we have to add then total number has to be written there leaves reminder leaving the reminder in e reethi questions irutte so such kind of questions will be there so in such a case leaves a reminder means at last that reminder number should be added so how you people are going to calculate here they have given least integer means very specific clearly given that we need to calculate lcm these are the three numbers one is 18 another one is 24 then is 56 divide we are dividing with the 2 that is 2 nines are 18 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 then uh, 56 is divided by 2 we got the answer that is 28 again we have to divide 9 12 and 28 with the help of 2 But nine cannot be divided. We retain for the next capacities. Then two six are twelve. Two ones are two. Two twos are four. Nine again is not being divided. Six and fourteen can be divided by two. So we divided here. Two threes are six. Two sevens are fourteen. And seven three and nine. This nine is not a prime, so it can be divided not by two, but it can be divided by three. So we have we are dividing this uh, nine three and seven with three so that we can uh, divide this nine and three but not seven. We have to divide the seven only with the same number. Three threes are nine. Three ones are three. Seven retain as it is. Now we got one seven and three here. So we are eliminating this first three. So three ones are one retain as it is. Seven again then seven ones are all numbers. We keep on dividing till we get the value that is one in all the cases. After dividing it, we should take the product of all the factors. That is two into two into two into three into three into seven. So we got the value that is five not four to that number. If they have given in the question, remind we are, we are leaving the reminder two in each case means. So that number has to be added because if we are going to add two for all the numbers, we are going to get the reminders. So that number to be added to the total value that is five not four plus two. It is equals to five or six. So then we can go for concluding the things. That is the least integer, which is going to be divided this eighteen twenty four fifty six, leaving the remainder two in each case is five or four plus two. It is nothing but five or six. So this is the how we need to calculate with the least remainder cases. And see the one more question, uh, similar kind of that, which is given. What is the lowest number when divided separately? Fifteen twenty. 48 and 36 leaves 9 as a reminder in each case again the same kind of question first we should calculate the lcm then at last to that value we should add 9 this much uh, enough is to remember for you all so they have given to calculate lowest number very specifically you know that lowest is nothing but lcm now we have written all the four numbers 15 20 48 and 36 then we started dividing first we have taken with the two it, it cannot be divisible So 15 retained as it is. Then two tens are 20. Two 24s are 48. Two 18s are 36. Now we should see in the second step where it can be easily divisible by majority of the numbers can be divided uh, easily. Now we have taken not the two. We have taken three here. Three fives are 15. 10 and three eights are 24. Three sixes are 18. Now six eight ten and five are there. Five cannot be divided with any other. It has to be divided by the same number. Now again, ten eight six can be divided easily with the two, so we have taken two. So five cannot be divided. Retain as it is. Two five are ten. Two four are eight. Two three are six. Now we got the numbers five, five, four, and three. Three and five are the prime numbers, but two is an even number, so it can be divided by two also. So we have taken two again. So it is uh, these numbers cannot be divided. Retain as it is to the next step. Two two are four. Three also we have taken for the next step. Now three, two, and five are the three numbers are there, all prime numbers. So we are going to divide one by one as it is. Now first we have taken five, then we have taken two, then at last to three. Now we have to multiply all the numbers, the product of all the numbers or the factors what we have taken to divide all the numbers. So together is seven twenty one. The product of that because it is leaving the we want to have. The remainder nine in all the cases, so we should add plus nine. Then the value is become seven twenty nine. So this is how in the case of leaves remainder. See, this is the question where we can able to see leaving the remainder. Leaves remainder at last we should add leaving the remainder. Uh, first itself we should add here. First itself we should. First itself we should deduct the numbers. Here find the greatest integer. Greatest means you should go for calculating the value of LCM, which divides 39, 48, and 90, leaving the remainder 
4 and 8. For the first number, you should leave 6. That is 39 minus 6. With 48, you should leave 4. With 90, you should leave 8. This reality, leaving the remainder on the put the question, if it has given, first itself, you should deduct. All numbers, so uh, you have the concerned numbers put the question, concerned numbers in the all numbers, no, minus mark for it. Here, 39, 48 and 19 first. Next uh, case, they have given uh, to remove the remainder, that is 6, 4, 8. So, we should deduct 1 by 1. 39 minus 6, 48 minus 4, 90 minus 8. Then we got the numbers, that is 33, 44 and 88. Because we have to so calculate the greatest integer. Here also, we have solved 2 by division method. Among the three numbers, we have taken any two numbers to calculate. 33 and 44, this 44 is the highest number. So, we have divided with 33. So 33, 1 the 33, the remainder we got 11. Again, the previous number, what we have taken to divide, that should be considered 33, then 11, 3 is the 33. One more number is retained, uh, remaining here, that is 82. What number we got uh, here uh, while getting the remainder 0 means here 11 is the number. So with 11, again, we should divide this 82. 11, 7 the 77, remainder will be 5. Then uh, see what is the previous number that you have taken as a divider. That is 11. 5, 2 is 10. We should divide by 5. We will get uh, 5, 2 is 10. 1 is the remainder. Then previous number what you have taken as a divider, that is 5. So 1, 5 is 5. We got the remainder is 0. The last number uh, will be considered as the greatest integer. That is HCF. That is nothing but 1. So the greatest integer which divides 39, 48, 90, Leaving the remainder 6, 4, and 8 is nothing but 1. So, this is how we need to calculate the values with the leaves remainder as well as leaving the remainder. And one more question, some more questions are there, similar kind of questions. That is nothing but the calculation of HCF and LCM. So, here also the HCF value and LCM, they have given 8 and 80. One of the number here, we assume one of the number as 40, we calculate the another one. So, how we in this... Uh, previous uh, slides we calculated in the same manner has to be calculated A into B. Unknown number means we should write uh, the unknown numbers to the left, the known numbers to the right side. That is H into L. A into B equals H into L. If you are assuming uh, A equals 40 means B has to be calculated. So B equals substitute the value H into L divided by A, 8 into 80 by 40. The value of uh, another number is 16. And see the next 10th uh, question here. It is also of same kind. You people can understand the product of two numbers as well as uh, the HCF value. You need to calculate the value of LCM. And see the problem number 11 here. They have given four men can walk. This kind of questions will be given in section C uh, for uh, seven marks. So 105, 112, 126 and uh, 168 kilometers in a week respectively. So they are going to walk uh, four people. So in a week, first person is going to walk for, have a walk of one night, uh, five kilometers, second person 112, third is 126, 168 kilometers. What is the least distance they can walk in exact number of weeks? We need to calculate what is the least distance means LCM. So calculate all the numbers right together and calculate the value of LCM here. So we have got the value of LCM. Uh, for all the four men, that is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, 3 into 3 into 7 into 5, the total number of kilometers, exact number of weeks they have walked, it is 5,040 kilometers. And the next question also here, uh, for in section C, they are going to ask, what is the largest measure of length which can be used to measure the following? That is, uh, um, this is the question which is regarding to the length, uh, 7 meter, uh, 2 meter and 85 centimeters and 12 meters and uh, 95 centimeters. This is a question regarding the measurement of length here. So uh, when we'll see this question, there are two units can be seen. One is meter as well as centimeters. While calculating the problems either by largest measure they have given, HCF need to be calculated. Two units at a time cannot be calculated. So we are going to convert to one particular unit. See, we can convert all meter values into centimeters value. So we know that one meter is exactly equals to 100 centimeter. So this seven meter we have converted into centimeters. It will become a one meter, 700, 100 meters means seven meters is equals to 700 centimeter. Similarly, see the question two meter and 85 centimeter. Two meter is nothing but 200 centimeters plus 85 centimeters. If you are going to add the total centimeter value will be 285 centimeters. In the third case also, 12 meter and 97 
centimeters they have given so 12 meter you should convert it into centimeters that is 1200 centimeters plus 1795 centimeters to be added then we'll get 1295 centimeters for the centimeters we are calculating not for the meter and centimeters now now rewrite as it is that is 700 285 and 1295 we calculated here with the help of uh, what uh, the values <coughs> that is uh, we calculated at a time here that is uh, 5 uh, with the 5 we have divided here it is 140 57 and uh, 290 259 then with the 70 uh, again we multi divided with the 2 we got 70 57 and 259 is a what a number uh, that is a prime number so it has to be divided with the same number so here instead of writing what is the largest measure of length you can write what is the least measure of length which can be used to measure it is not a largest because in this question we have used the gelsen value you can go for if it is lc uh, hcf means you should go for calculate calculating with the help of factorization method separately or you can go by division method also here the problem is calculated with the what uh, this one lcm so you should write the question in the case of uh, lcm itself so uh, the product of all these numbers is thousand uh, one lakh three thousand uh, sorry it is one crore three lakh thirty four thousand hundred centimeters and see the last question here they have given that is the tra this is the question which is relating to the traffic signal lights of three different road crossings so after every uh, 60 seconds 90 seconds and 108 seconds in three different roads in the first road for at every 60 seconds the signal lights are going to be changed in the second road also after every 90 seconds the signal lights are going to be changed and the third road uh, after every 108 seconds pratiyondu road sali seconds yes to seconds the change of the signal lights the information is being given and also they have given that what is the if they all change simultaneously in all the three roads if we can able to see exactly the signal lights are going to be fall at 9 or 22 minutes then at what time again the signal lights are going to be fall at the same time has to be calculated. So this is the question. The, uh, all the multiples has to be calculated here. So we have calculated with the help of LCM 60, 90 and 108. We calculated the value of LCM here. So whatever the values we got here, it is in the form of seconds. Because the values are in the form of seconds, the total value of LCM is 540 seconds. Seconds because here five, we can say that 9 hour 22 minutes 540 seconds cannot be shown so at that time we have to come here someone has unmuted your participant can you mute here and now see here the signal lights this 540 seconds now we have converted into minutes seconds are converted into minutes we know that 60 seconds is nothing but one minute so what is the value of 540 seconds 540 seconds are nothing but so if you are going to convert it into minutes means 540 divided by 60 seconds is nothing but 9 minutes therefore we are going to say that the next simultaneous change when we are can able to see in all the three roads the signal lights are going to be fall that is 9 hour 22 minutes this is 0 seconds plus only in the case of minutes this 9 should be added not in the case of r because we calculated here the 9 minutes so 22 plus 9 is nothing but 31 minutes then we can able to see in all the three roads the signal lights where we are going to fall at a time it is 9 or 31 minutes that is the answer what we have written it is 9 or 30, uh, 9 or 31 minutes so this is how this question also is going to ask in the section such kind of questions have you people follow this one? Yes, ma'am. This last question is the last question. This question is the section C. 7 marks. This 12 12, 13 question. So, the 11th question is the question. This question is the question. 7 marks are the question. 
ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಾ ಇನ್ ದಿ 13th ಕ್ವೆಶ್ಚನ್ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಸಿ ಮಾ ಎಲ್ಸಿಎಂ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಎಲ್ಸಿಎಂ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ 540 ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಸಿ ದ ಕ್ವೆಶ್ಚನ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು then at what time again change simultaneously at what time the next uh, minute or next seconds or next hour we can able to see all the three rows at a time the signal lights are going to be fall here they have given 9 hour 22 minutes first signal light will on thaddu yav time alli anta andre 9 hour 22 minutes exact agi muru rows alli signal lights bilutte next namak kelo anta question eno what means muru rows alli ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಸಿಗ್ನಲ್ ಲೈಟ್ಸ್ ಯಾವ ಟೈಮ್ ಗೆ ಬೀಳುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳೋ ಅಂಥದ್ದು ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಅಟ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ನೌ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಕೆನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಒನ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಫೈವ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಒನ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಅಂತ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಇದು so 5 cross multiplication maadaga 540 into 1 divided by 60 we are getting the answer that is 9 minutes because we we are going to convert it that seconds into minutes right here so that yes, minutes ma'am. value has to be added to the minutes value of the previous that is 22 is the minutes than edo so 9 are 22 minutes plus we should add this 9 minutes to that 22 we are going to get the answer that is 9 or 31 minutes antane hagidre muru roads alli signal lights so at a time bila antadu which is going to be fall in all the three uh, roads at a time when it is going to be fall means it is 9 or 31 minutes so this is how we need to calculate this way i will people follow thank you ma'am followed ma yes ma'am ellaru work agidya ma yaradadu doubt idya nodi hcf one doubt ma'am ah helu ba Okay. 13th problem uh, why did we solve that sum through lcm method because they have given see here at what time again change simultaneously anta andaga now consideration ella factors consider madbeku alli ella numbers consider madbeku alva nimge least to atha lowest to largest to anta helbekadre so now numbers ella multiples we are going to consider all the multiples for the calculation only in case of lcm it is not in the case of hcm so we have to calculate with the help of lcm method only are you followed yes ma'am but actually a doubt like uh, they haven't given clearly whether it's not the given clearly yes the they have not given clearly but by seeing the sentence at what time again change simultaneously if they are all changing simultaneously they are telling simultaneously means what we need to calculate all the values we need to consider all the values for the calculation all values means where we are going to consider all the values means only in the case of lcm we are not going to consider in the case of hcm so we need to calculate with the help okay. of uh, lcm right okay 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 so so far what we calculated here any that i i'm going to have one uh, this one 2019 question we just i'll post to you you can able to calculate according for two marks also given for this chapter and also in i told no hcf and lcm six marks also they have asked so you can also calculate the rest of the question papers also i'll post you after download it there from the other colleges right okay bye so you can post your id numbers those who are present no you can uh, I'll send it to you. in the whatsapp group okay thank you we'll thank see. you ma'am you we'll see have you, you followed ma this first chapter which is coming to yes, the end because it is a small chapter first one only the other chapters it is little bit large right okay ma'am we will see you once again thank you